48 minute delay, all in the name of climate change. The protesters demanding that both schools stop funding fossil fuel companies and about two dozen were reportedly arrested. Well, our next guest attended the game and is blasting the move as empty activism. Here with more campus reform correspondent and Harvard University student Christopher Colby. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for having me. So tell us about the protest. What was it like being there in person? What did you see? What went down? Well, uh, I'll be the first to admit that Harvard and Yale are no SEC state schools. We don't have many big football games. We love our football game. We love our Harvard Yale historic game. It's the oldest football game in the country. And these protesters decided that their version of empty activism for this weekend was going to go sit in the middle of the field during the game, right in the middle of it, wasting everybody's time. I have to say most people were pretty nonplussed. Uh, the protest was pretty poorly planned. Most of my friends were just irked, very annoyed that they got their time taken away from them. But our biggest takeaway, for the most part, was that this was just another empty political activist thing that liberals tend to do on big days. They pick our favorite day and then they do whatever they want with it. I have to say, it's really quite annoying. I don't think the protest accomplished much. Well, Christopher, I know that um, one of the things they were trying to do was they were trying to demand the university stop uh, funding and investing money in fossil fuel companies. But at the same time, uh, you know, when you when you think about it, if they did that and they abandoned those kind of investments, you say the first thing the, uh, the university would have to do then is probably cut financial aid to students and to things to students who really need that money. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the university's endowment principally is designed to take care of all the things in the university that need funding. Some of the things, the cream of the crop, the things that are quite luxuries, like Harvard's great financial aid program, rely on this endowment to perform. It's ironic that the people that are taking the field, these uneducated protesters that just want blanket action, they're the ones that are saying, I don't care if the endowment has bad returns. I want this very simple ban on fossil fuels, not in our general climate as a university, but just in the way we hold stocks as an endowment, which, sure. by the way, as a protester, I have no expertise on. Yeah, I think it's kind of funny that they'd be the first ones to leave that field for a different reason, the field of Harvard University, because they wouldn't have funding to go to school anymore. All right. And, and so far, no action against the protesters, right? Yeah, uh, there's been around a 24 to 40 court summons to New Haven, uh, which, uh, by the way, will be using fossil fuels on the way there. Um, but for the most part, the protesters uh, got off easy, uh, you know, just slaps on the wrist. And even Harvard administrators said, you know, this is a bad thing. We didn't enjoy this happening, but we're not going to take any reasonable action. Also, as the Leadership Institute's campus reform reports in the pattern of most protests that tend to disrupt a lot of things and yet at the same time not receive the consequences that are due to them. I mean, let's be honest, it was just a big waste of all our time. We're all disappointed that it happened, but such is life on the liberal yeah. campus these days. Did your team win? You know, I wish we did. <laughs> the game was actually historically long. 50 to 43, double overtime. That makes it worse. Divest protest didn't help. <laughs> Thanks for joining yeah, us, Christopher. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. There you go. All right, meanwhile, when it comes to impeachment, Congressman Adam Schiff